How about that front kick from Swanson? Pierce is hurt! And that's gonna do it! Cub Swanson has done it! Look at that front kick. And he landed with two right hands. And look at that left hook as he got off on an angle, John, and that's very important because Pearson wasn't able to see it coming. There's the front kick. Two right hands in a row, and boom! Left hook as he got off on the angle, and Pearson never saw that coming. What a beautiful punch from Cub Swanson. Really discouraging Jessica Penne to, to clinch here and try and get this fight to the floor. Beautiful elbow work on the inside. This is a real statement to the rest of the strawweight division. Get off that fence and come back. Just Don't stand there, Pele. Holding stand back her weapons. Laser guided weapons. And that is enough. Wow. Joanna Jungzajek has delivered the Polish power. And that was enough for Mark Goddard. Just slowly stalking her opponent down, keeping pressure on Jessica Pene, picking her apart with good combinations and defending takedowns. And Jessica Pene gave us some new new tricks to work to uh, to try and figure out in this one. Lots of nice trips and sweeps and body locks, but Joanna came through and proved why she is the champion. Fantastic range striking, good clinch work, but it was really the elbows that turned the tide for this fight, cracking her with good clean shots on the inside and bloody in the face of the challenger. Probably a head two rounds, but a beautiful head kick there from Vera, placed perfectly. Brad looked to try and recover for a second, but he wasn't defending those couple of shots, and uh, Grant Wartsman did a good job of stepping in there. There we go, look, good accurate shots from Marlon Vera for the finish. Anders goes up top, oh. has the kick that time, does that count as a knockdown? I don't know, I couldn't see the angle, I had to look at that on real. Oh, jeez! Oh, oh. Was he down? Williams was scrambling to his feet with the knockout win in the final 30 seconds. He was doing a technical get up. Yeah, that's clean. Can I see a different angle on that? Like a side angle? Yep. It's as clean as he gets. Right as his hand came up. Hand is, oh wow, I mean, it couldn't be any closer. As his hand is coming up, he lands the kick. 30 seconds left here for Mackenzie Dern to hunt for a finish. Lena Madera's very tough. And now she goes belly down. Arm bar coming oh, for Mackenzie wow. Dern. Mackenzie Dern taking that arm home. Lena mm. Madera taps. It is done. Wow. Mackenzie Dern victorious in her Invicta FC debut. That is why people are excited for this Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu phenom, Mackenzie Dern, via submission late in round number three. Very happy with this performance as she should be, Julie. That was really, I, I think, what a lot of people wanted to see from Mackenzie Dern. She was, was offensive wonderful. on the feed, offensive on the floor, and also she had counter offense as well. We really saw the full gamut of mixed martial arts from this young 24 year old. We saw the gamut of mixed martial arts and we saw how much she's going to improve, TJ. How much confidence it gave her to get those hard strikes, to really get the fight into deep water, to continue to move and to get the finish at the end. Mackenzie Dern showing that she is much more than just a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu player. Span, one of several fighters that has really helped put Dallas's bonus MMA on the map. Oh. Got touched by Nogueira there. Span returns fire. He's so much faster than Nogueira. Oh my God! That's a big hook. uppercut. That'll do it. Oh. Ryan Span oh. by so knockout. Faster. Holy smoke! Big knockout by Span. Right here, you saw the speed difference, that straight right hand. He hurt Nog right there. And then that, that left uppercut puts him out. He doesn't give Nog anything to grab. So Nog couldn't feel where he was, but that uppercut, right hand, left uppercut. He threw everything into that left uppercut. Then he's on top of him. If he would have jumped into his half guard, Nog would have been able to hold on to him. But he stayed high enough over the top of him. That would hurt him. Then another straight right, then look at the left. Puts him out. 
Right here. Stay far enough to where he can't grab you. Land a follow-up shot, it's over. Mount found an avenue there for a couple of rights. Oh, now some hammer fists. Lee's out. Oh, Brown is out. Nico the hybrid price. Creative once again. And another finish. TKO via hammer fist from the bottom. He was eating some good punches here. And look at this awkward position. Randy Brown gets stuck in. Two, three, four, five outs. He was holding him up. I think he was out in the third one, maybe. Another look. Useful what? use of the left foot and a hand. Unbelievable. Second or third one, and this one is done. Man, this is going to be tough. This could be it. She got it. She pulled it down, but now Watterson changed her grip and tightened it up further. Looking to finish it right here, right now. Page continues to pull the wrist down. But look at Michelle. Michelle's got one arm. She's grabbing the shoulder. And the body lock is giving her the leverage to finish it potentially with one arm. Continues to crank and look to the finish. Page could go out here. Man, Page is tough. Wow. The body lock makes this excruciating. She's out. My goodness. You called it, Brian. Incredible. To come in here with this stage, a star was just born in Michelle Waters. I mean, this is beautiful. This is not always an effective takedown in MMA, but Michelle executed it perfectly, and look at how she immediately goes, both hooks in, transitions to the back, then goes to the body lock, we talked about the grappling game. Everybody focuses on the striking. This is where she's gotten the majority of her wins, her ninth submission of her career. Beautiful adjustments with her hands here. And there you see her go out. Paige as tough as they come. But huge win for Michelle.